Okay, so here is the before of my craft room. This is a white unit that has some drawers in it that I love. Um, this may move to another area. I do like to use milk crates, vintage milk crates to store things. And I have this really super cute cotton thread, silk thread organizer. But I feel like stuff is getting out of hand. That's my really cute um, way I store my acrylic paints, which is super handy. And I think that one of the things, that's where I keep my big shot. One of the things that I want to keep a mind on is that there are some things that work. This isn't working right there, okay? I have a very, very small open space to work. So my Martha Stewart trimmer's under here. Um, and then there's storage behind there. This is a really cool old desk I got. And I love having it. It's just, it really is for storage. I don't use it. And I'd like to be able to close it up and just have it be safe and keep some things in there. That is one of the things that works best in my craft room. I'm a mixed media artist. And this is a tall galvanized tin that I got that's corralling all my, um, like my things that I use to add texture. But this doesn't work. I wind up with big piles of papers places because there's nowhere to put them. I, I'm gonna use this box to keep those discs in. So that's just a, do I need to decorate it first or not? That's an easy fix. And then I have some more milk crates. So those are perfect for segregating paper. And I don't know that I really want to get rid of them, get rid of them. And this one's divided and I keep my Heidi Swap stuff there. So I have, you know, the thing that I do do very well is I know where everything is. So my Heidi Swap mink stuff is all right there. My candle's right there for my friend too. Then this, this unit is for, um, to keep my stuff that I sell on eBay and Etsy. And this works really, really well. I like it very much. And it's closed storage because I don't want to have to look at that stuff all the time. But I have it organized super well and I love that. Okay, this is where it starts to... So this is all effectively going to stay the same-ish. I guess not. This is going to go away. So this whole um, just tower of milk crates is going to go away. And then this is gonna go away, and I'm gonna move this matching the, the desk, big bookcase. I just shoved that up there, sorry guys. Um, and this is clean for me, so I'm not, I'm not looking for neat and tidy. I like kind of a mishmash and all different colors and vintage stuff, but I need to have it be, um, I need to have more places to put things that aren't so, like hot higgledy piggledy right so this is a great thing because it's so many shelves and all one unit and so even though it may look a little messy here in my room it's very neat and it gives me lots of things and then i sit right here i craft there so there's something else that works and i th i really do think you should sit and go through what works so that works Okay, those, those, having my embossing stuff right there for me, having my distress ink pads, you may not be able to see them, but they're right under there. Having my distress ink pads under there is good for me. Um, that works really well. And this basket with all my glue works really well. So start to think about what is working and what isn't working. Okay, this works super well. This is all my, um, inks and sprays and this whole wall of um, bookcases is going to stay just the way it is because it works really well um, under here are my um, card stocks in magazine holders and they fit well I am going to move it over there because there's big drawers that I could put tons of stuff in that, that I can't use too well right now. I use my mink right there, and then that's my sprocket on top of it. So it's a little bit of a gizmo area, but not too bad, I guess. And then this holds all of my ink sprays, and that works really well. I put them back every time I after, after I use them. My gesso's right there, and so that works really well. And this is kind of um, upcoming planner stuff like that. 
I have covered storage because I have um, tension rods with uh, little curtains in there. That is my um, chalk paint and it has worked beautifully. All my chalk paint lives there and that's where it goes. And then I did a, um, that red case holds all my metal ephemera and I have a ton of metal ephemera like um, jump rings and dangles and things like that. So it's got a, um, this will go, this can go right back in here. This sits on this. I just kind of overfilled it just the other day. So let's move this for one second. Sorry about that. So this fits right here and it fits perfectly. Works really well. And then this is great. This um, I made and has all kinds of uh, containers in there. So it'll have, so that is jump rings. There's grommets in there. There's all different ways to keep my stuff. And I, that has worked out beautifully. I keep my um, metal of, um, embellishments that I'm using right now here. So I have, I know you think, how can you be using all those? But they're all my um, brads and push pins and things like that. And then I just got a little bit of ephemera. I have to put that away. That goes underneath here. There's a um, divided thing that has ephemera. My stencils are there with junk on top of it because I have nowhere to put the stuff that I'm working on. I need to clean that off. Um, this area works okay. Okay-ish. Um, I probably need to clean that up a little bit. Those are my dies over there. Um, so that works really well. I have a video about them. Let's see. Oh, this table. This table is a bother. It's like a um, uh, uh, end table and it's round and it has sides. So stuff can sit under there, but it's really precarious. I keep knocking that one over. But the reason I have it here is because I take pictures on this board all the time of the things that I do. And it has to be in a bright area because even though that, that window seems really bright, you notice it can fix itself very fast. Because I live in Florida and the overhangs, that's my cleanup bag, um, my overhangs are huge and so I don't get much light in here. All right, I have a cart, everybody has a cart. Um, part of the cart works really well and part of the cart doesn't work really well. So the part of the cart that works really well is the top. Those are all my We Are Memory Keepers cutting envelope, things like that. I just got this uh, divider for them. So that will probably stay. Um, second layer is usually pretty good. It's um, kind of washi tape, things like that. And then the bottom layer is, that doesn't work. It's, it, I have to get rid of it. So that'll free up a lot of space there. Now that right there in the back is um, trays and photography things. So I don't know if that's going to stay here. But what I want to do is I want to get everything, like stop having a million different little solutions. So I absolutely adore this little unit right here. Um, I made boxes to fit into it and it's very, very handy to have. Um, and it works great. The bottom is Tim Holtz uh, Christmas like holiday stuff. The middle is cards. And the top is my stuff for um, doing my um, recording. And so that's something that works. I don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater and get rid of things that work. So I may be using the boxes. I may put that on top of something because it works perfectly. But we'll have to see where that goes. And then we're over to my work desk. And this is where I knew I needed help because I keep trying to bring everything I own right around me because I like to have it. But what I'm going to do, you'll see in the video, next video, is I'm going to get bookcases that sit right next to my desk. So, because remember, I turn here, that works great. I need to have bookcases, but this is everything I use. So there's my bajillion paintbrushes. There's a really cute rainbow holder that I did a um, video about. There is paper, Heidi Swap memory decks, my paper towels, which usually live by my glass cleaner. And you heard me knock something over. Ah, okay, um, my setup. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna have two desks, one for doing crafting with the um, lights and the, the camera area, 
That's my Holy Bible. I put my computer on to put my uh, to put my laptop on when I have to do people videos. Um, but I'm going to figure out how much of this needs to be sitting like within inches of me. Um, some of it does. Some of the glue does. Some of the um, things that I use all the time. But I have a feeling a lot of it doesn't. I don't know if you can see under there. That's where my dog sits. Um, over here, I have another little derpy thing. This thing is the worst thing I have ever tried to use anywhere. It's kind of a little old-fashioned side table. It can only hold one of my boxes. There's junk underneath, stuff falls over. That's my actual garbage. That's my joy, so I'm going to have to figure out, you know, how am I going to have places, where am I going to put things. Um, this box is amazing. It's an um, old-fashioned school box that has um, the shelves, so there's places for all your stencils and all your papers you've used. And then I love using magazine holders. I haven't de decorated those yet. But those are going to be um, turned up. That works really well. I have my um, regular paper, weird paper in one, not mixed media paper. Um, I have uh, uh, tissue paper, all weird tissue paper that I will use sometime. And then pieces of paper that I've already decorated. So that works really well. Um, that cup with my Posca pens works really well. So, so don't get so down on yourself when you're like, oh my gosh, this is a mess. It's not a mess. I have systems that work really well. I just need to move some things around to get them to work even better because this is a big problem for me. I have a system of rainbow color magazine holders and I do a lot of magazine collage. And this is, according to Dana K. White, who helped me organize my craft room, that's how many magazines that I can have because that's how many um boxes i have but the problem is i have tiny arms and so i can't reach them and so that isn't working so when i get a skinnier desk right and then i have a place to put them on top then i can get to them and i can call the ones that i don't need i can get rid of the ones that i do need let's see just a couple more areas i have all of my big cutting dies there that works really well Big guys in the corner moving the desk out. We're getting ready to go on just me uh, and my so son. We, we can roll this, but the legs are going to break. So we're going to pick it up a little bit and just walk it back. We're going to set it by the fish tank for right now. Okay, so we've opened the second box. We got the first calyx set up, the three banger. We went the hard one first. There's my son and my daughter helping me set it up. All right, so we got the desks made and the calyx is made. And there's a ton of room in here now. These are all my old cabinets and these are my old cabinets, but this area in here with the two desks, two Alexas, and then the three calyxes is, um, seven by eight to give you an idea of how much space that is and i did want the brackets that would hold the desks to the bookcases but i'm kind of happy now that they don't and i'm going to show you a different uh configuration i'm going to move the desks around originally i had thought i might put the single um the first one here is four by one the second one is four by two and the last one is four by three. And I did that specifically so that I could move them around however I wanted. I was thinking at one point that I might put um, some of them up there, but I'm five two and I can comfortably reach, like this is about shoulder, a little bit higher than shoulder height. I can comfortably reach the top of these. And so I want to leave them in case I have something a little bit wider than um, the inside space of the cube. So, so far I'm super excited. All right, here's another way. And I think I'll have more access to the cubes this way um, because now I can walk in. One of these is going to be my craft desk and one of these is going to be my picture desk. 
and I think this is gonna work out perfect. Okay, the rug is down, looking good. This is the last time it will be this clean. Okay, I'm all done. I moved the desk over here. The white one is in the middle. And then the red one's over there. That's very similar to what it was. And then if we turn around this way, we have the black bookcases that are almost exactly the same. It's so funny as I did the earlier video. Um, the places that were absolutely clean were the ones that had a good system. And so very little has changed over here. But now, this is the new one. There's my doggy bed. I have three Calyx units. So a three, a two, and a one. Mostly full. I still have some room in there. I wanted to keep them low enough that I could put things on the top. There's Kitty. I have a Rascot cart down here. Two desks with Alex drawers. This is going to be my photography station. This is where I sit to do my videos. That's a new mirror with a light. I've got so much light in this room. And then I've kind of got it divided up by sections. So I have Heidi Swap there, the Joy there. Um, this is my paint brushes and things that I need to reach. Um, then down there is my technology and my uh, heat tool. Oh, that's my essential oils. My box of uh, papers that I use, my working, everything right here is what I work with all the time. So that's all my working stuff that I use. There's the sidekick, um, my stamp cleaner, some glue. I got my um, washi tape holder. I have a video for that. I'll link that. I got this divider that I like very much, lets you get more things in. And then some paper and some old journals, more paper. Those are all my uh, dies, all my Sizzix dies for the big shot. That is my least favorite thing so far. I may have to buy an insert for the Calyx. I'll have to see how that goes. This I'm working on figuring out what to do with, but everything else I'm super, there's my glue. There's my candle making stuff. There's some ephemera. And overall, oh, and the last, very last thing, this is funny. This light never worked. We had to take, um, over there, we had to pull the bookcases against the wall. So while we were moving them, I had my husband uh, move it and now I have light in my room. So it turned out great. It took two days, two full days. So a day to empty it and build the units. And by the end of yesterday, I was exhausted. And then today to get it all loaded and organized. So hopefully you like it. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.